it's Addie, and today we are watching Star Trek Beyond. I started with the 2009 Star Trek, then we went to Star Trek Into Darkness, and so today we're going to finish out this reboot trilogy with Star Trek Beyond. I, I think I read at some point there was supposed to be a fourth reboot, but... It's been a few years at this point since Beyond came out, so I'm not sure if that's still happening. I guess we'll get there when we get there. But I'm very excited to see what comes next. I feel like I'm really liking these reboot movies just because of a huge reason is the cast. I mean, it has such a great cast of characters and a lot of familiar faces in it. And I love seeing Kirk and Spock's relationship and how it their friendship has developed over the past couple of movies and I really like seeing Kirk his progression as a character as well how he's really truly becoming a leader and becoming a captain so I'm excited to see what comes next for all of them very glad that he's alive and we'll just see what happens next I know that I've read a lot of comments that it seems like a lot of Star Trek fans do not like these reboot movies, but I will say if it weren't for these movies, I wouldn't be interested in Star Trek whatsoever. I wouldn't have probably given it a chance. So I'm very thankful for these movies that I am really enjoying these stories. So it's making me curious to possibly check out more Star Trek content. Uh, so I think that is important to realize that these movies, these reboot movies are creating some new Star Trek fans out of different generations. And I am excited to see what comes next. This is Star Trek Beyond. Here we go. I bring you a message of goodwill, a gift from the Forbidden High Council. What's wrong with it? Why well, don't they want it anymore? What are these creatures? They told me they acquired it a long time ago. So they stole it then. <laughs> was a lot larger than he is. He might be small, but it is going to be hard to get out of here. Oh. Except when we do that. How'd it go? Great. Today is our 966th day in deep space. The crew, as always, continues to act admirably despite the rigors of our extended stay here and the personal sacrifices they've made. Some experiences for better, and some for the worse. Oh, this is a saucy little ship. The farther out we go, the more I find myself wondering what it is we're trying to accomplish. I found this in Chekhov's locker. Yay. Wow. Right? Wanted to have something appropriate for your birthday. Are you going to call your mom? Yeah, of course I'll call her the day. A year older than he ever got to be. Looks like a snow globe in space just waiting to break. Oh, the spirit bones. Whoa, seeing how large it is compared to the Enterprise, wow. It makes the Enterprise look tiny, wow. This artificial gravity must be pretty intense. I think you should have this back. After all, it belonged to your mother. To receive again that which was given as a gift. Did they break up? What'd you do? Oh, a typically reductive up. inquiry, Doctor. If an Earth girl says uh, it's me, not you, it's definitely you. Hmm. I want to know what happened. Oh, His family is here. I am Beth Alert on incoming vessel. Attention, unidentified vessel, you are not authorized for approach. We were on a science mission inside the nebula. Our ship suffered a critical malfunction. You must have someone who can help us. Well, the Enterprise does have the best navigational system in the fleet. Starfleet Command sends me your application for the Vice Admiral position here at this installation. It's easier than you think to get lost. I was Perhaps there. Oh. Something I need to argue about. I as well have something to share. We make a good team, right? I believe we do. That was an awkward elevator ride. Now our mission is rescue a crew stranded on a planet in uncharted space. We're going to be on our own. Yeah, that's kind of scary to fly through. something no other ship in the fleet has. You. Mm -hmm. 
This is Ultimate. My ship is stranded here. Proximity alert, sir. We have an unknown ship heading right for us. No response. They're jamming us. Magnify, Mr. Sulu. Shields up! Red alert! <gasps> What in the... Fire everything we've got. Captain, we are not equipped for this manner of engagement. I think it looks like drones almost. Little space drones. Whoa. Oh no, this thing will destroy the Warp Enterprise. Us out of here, Mr. Sulu. Yes, sir. Hopefully these things don't destroy their work capabilities. And it looks like they are. They're gonna tear the ship apart. Yep. Wild. Oh. 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 oh my gosh, all of them at once? No, 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 no. Okay, you're terrifying. Oh, he's after that? Oh no. I have identified the individual who appears to be leading the attack party. My god. Oh, hell. Ooh. Uh, yeah, they are terrifying. And how do you know who he is? Maximum impulse towards the nebula. I no, 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 no. I don't want to know what that means. Wow. Systems are failing ship wide, Captain. Abandon Not ship, very high. Mr. Sulu. We need to give those pods a chance to escape. We cannot move until the saucer is separated. I'll handle it. I need your help. Yes, sir. Wait. Are those droney things taking out the escape pods? Spock, they're taking the crew! Is that possibly what he wants? Like, they're... I don't know. Saucer should be free by now! Oh, Mr. Sulu, the captain should be there! Shit. Oh, my gosh. He is really after this artifact. That's gonna hurt! Wait. So she's stuck in the same room. Nice. Yeah, she's in the same room. She's in the same room. It's not good for her. The intruders are taking them. Captain, yeah. we are caught in the planet's gravity. We cannot pull away. Get your Kelvin pods. And they have no communication yes, to start with. Captain. That's kind of a problem too. Oh, this moment is a lot like what your dad went through. Ooh. Wow. Wow, I'm glad he made it out of there in time. Okay, and none of these pods are even going to have a soft landing. This is good. No. happen to be able to breathe in this atmosphere. That could have been risky. You knew we'd be attacked. Yes. I lied. Who is he? And you wouldn't tell us that? He took my crew. Like he took yours. We could have come in with a warning at least. Check off. Are you picking anything up on those scanners? Nothing. I was protecting my crew. By possibly killing the rest of this crew. Oh, we have a little... Charging base, cute. I mean, I I guess I'm glad that the crew is alive, but now I'm very nervous what we're getting ourselves into. How do you know our language? I know your kind. You attacked us. Why did you sacrifice yourself for him? He would have done the same. He will come for us. I am counting on it. Uh, that's what he wants. <laughs> Hi, glad you're alive. Spock should be with you, right? Yeah. When did that happen? Okay, try and relax. You're gonna be okay. I'm 
glad you're with the doctor, at least. We must keep moving, Doctor. Spock, this thing's punctured your iliac region. This time is a critical factor. <sighs> That's exactly what I'm trying to tell you. An inch to the left, and you'd be dead already. What's your favorite color? I fail to see the relevance. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. Yeah, they're gonna be searching for us. I'm glad no one's, like, by themselves by themselves, though. At least we have partners. Oh, no. <laughs> I take that back. Scotty's absolutely by himself. Oh, no. Hello there. Uh, My name is Montgomery these, Scott. These guys look creepy, too. And, uh, who might you be? Tumaya Utsa. Oh, no. <laughs> and all of them can fight? Whoa. That's not exactly just a projection. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> okay, this tech is cool. You're fighting the creepy guys, so maybe you're a friend. <laughs> now, that's Starfleet property, okay? Can I just take it up? But oh. I'm feeling generous mm -hmm. today, so how about it? Where you get that? Uh, engineering division. I fix things. I know what is engineering. <laughs> Come with me. Now. Okay. New wait, friend. No, hang on a minute. I've got to find my crewmates. You want me to fix something? Yes. You help okay. me, and I help you. Okay. We can do that. I am Jayla. And mm. you are Montgomery Scott. Oh, the poor Enterprise. The Enterprise. I don't think we're getting off she this planet. She still has a few tricks up her sleeve. Okay, maybe we're getting off this planet. Intriguing. These symbols are the same as those depicted on the artifact taken in the attack. Spock! Spock. And watch your steps. You do not want to set off my traps. Mm. Okay, good to know. This is my house. Your house? Um, it's very homey. I hope you find your friends and you help me fix it so I can leave this planet forever. Whoa. Let's get to the bridge. Mm. <laughs> Enterprise is not looking good. It's kind of on fire right now, and there are bad people right there. Ooh. Once we get this place lit up, we're gonna draw a lot of attention. Yeah. <laughs> ah. What? What? That is one heck of a cold. Nice job, huh. Keenzer. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> I don't want to be around him when he's sick. <laughs> He's been piggybacking the subspace links between the probes. Can we use it to send a distress signal? I can try. That would be nice. We have to contact Starfleet somehow. That Starfleet data files. Ship logs. He's been watching us this whole time. From the artifact was on the ship the whole time. I hit it in the ear. <laughs> what? <laughs> Is that all she's after? You believe every sad story you hear? Well, apparently Not we anyway. shouldn't. Oh, Put oh, was he prepared? Down. What does Crow want with this thing? To save you from yourselves. Get them! Wow. We were trying to help you this whole time, and you literally led us into this. Mm, yeah, they're there. <laughs> She's there. She got what she was coming for her. Federation has taught you that conflict should not exist. You have no idea who we are, okay. but you'll soon find out. You mean the distress signal you thought you sent? Oh, they didn't send it. Our strength in unity. This what kept me alive. No! What is happening? No. He's taking their their strength, their energy. You asked me why Lieutenant Uhura and I parted ways in the light of Vulcan's demise, but I owed a debt of duty to my species. You thought you should be off making little Vulcans, huh? Ambassador Spock has died. Spock, I'm so sorry. Fear of death is illogical. Fear of death is what keeps us alive. That is why I decided to continue his work. So he wouldn't be able to replace What did Jim Kirk? have to say about that? He doesn't know. I don't know what he'd do without you. Me, on the other hand, I'd, I'd throw a party. But... <laughs> you got you get delirious. Spock. When did you begin to suspect her? Not soon enough. No. no. 
Oh, maybe it's just one of her traps. Hopefully it's just one of her traps. Music's a bit old fashioned for my taste, not to mention very loud and distracting, but. I like the beats and shouting. <laughs> Switch it off. Someone set off one of my traps. I think that was Kirk. <laughs> That'll work. Captain? It's okay. You know this man. Oh, wow. Uh, this James T. Cuck. Oh, whoa. I did not expect that. Oh, hi, friends. <clears throat> she knows how to throw out a welcome mat. This is Jayla. I do not know what is a welcome mat. Don't worry about it. Get it? No. Have you got it? No, I had to get it off the Enterprise. This is the USS Franklin, son. Can she fly? Jayla has done a marvelous job of getting the ship systems back online. Good job, Jayla. I like how she calls him Montgomery Scotty. <laughs> No clue what happened to the crew, huh? Oh, no, sir. They'd be dead a hundred years by now. That's a PX-70. My dad used to have one when he was a kid. Mm. So you're telling me this thing's been here this whole time and no one's ever noticed it? Is it hidden? Whoa! Did she do that? Wow. It's a Starfleet frequency. How do we get to them? I have an idea, sir. McCoy and Spock to Enterprise crew. Come in, Enterprise crew. Come on. You can make it. Mm. I hope you can make it. Can we hide under these here, rocks? Like the dialogue we have had across the years has it's always okay, Spock. At least I won't die alone. Okay, you might die alone. Come on, you. Hey. Good to see you in one piece, Doctor. Hey. Oh, oh that was great timing. He's heard. I am functioning adequately, Captain. We discovered that the stolen artifact appears to have come from this. Spock, we, we need some help for Spock. You must focus your efforts on helping the crew. Well, that's why I need you around, Spock. The miserable yeah. have no other medicine but only hope. Death's door and he's quoting Shakespeare. <laughs> you will tell me where it is. No! <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No. No. Let him go and I will give you what you want. No, still don't. Did he hide it on her head? Whoa. Unity is not your strength. It's your weakness. weakness. Yeah. Mr. Chekhov, can you reconfigure the search parameters in order to compensate for this formula? Where are you going with this? Lieutenant Uhura wears a Vokaya amulet, which I presented to her as a token of my affection and respect. You get your girlfriend a tracking device. No. Spock. That was not my intention. Spock! That's why you didn't want her to give it back. Oh my gosh. I mean, it's coming in handy right now, at least. Does the location match the coordinates you acquired from Kalara, Mr. Chekhov? It is a match, sir. You cannot go to this place. If your friends are there, then they will die, just like my family. If you choose to do this, you're on your own. I wonder how long she's been living here on her own. We, we could really use your help. Crow would come and take someone, and we would not see that person again. We did not know who would be next. My father planned an escape. He was brave, and Manus killed him. Are you part of something bigger now, Lassie? All right, don't you give up on that. All I know is we stand a better chance with you. How many people can the Franklin transport at a time? Uh, with a wee bit of modification, 20 max. We won't pass unseen. What we require is a diversion. He's like, is that where you come in? I think I have an idea. Oh no. What are you getting yourself into? This is Abula. I have spent lifetimes searching for. Literally bring it to him. But there's something else going on with you. No. has pushed the frontier for centuries. This is where the frontier pushes back. Oh, good timing. Hey. Okay, let's do this. Oh. Oh, because we saw her tech earlier. Oh, which one is actually Kirk? Hey. Get our crew out Uhura, of here. Get the remainder of the crew to safety. Ooh, I'm nervous about Spot going off on his own. Increase the signal. We're going to grab them 20 at a time. Aye. Let's hope this doesn't get I messy. Energize. Yeah. I hope no one is spliced. No. Oh. Ow. 
Oh, if this is the one who killed her father. Oh, this is this is hard. No, what? No. Hey. What are you doing here? For saving you. I am here to rescue you. Yeah. Oh, she's not gonna be happy about this tracking device if she ever figures it out. Aw, oh, buddy. Good to see you, we man. No. This is the guy who killed her father. Come on. Ten seconds until transport is recharged, Doctor. And we're not leaving without him. Please work. Ah. Hey! Look at you, Captain Kirk! Scotty, you have everybody. I said everyone except you and Jayla. At the beacon, um, I will grab you. She's not doing so good. Ugh. Energize. Uh, will this work? Will this work? Come on. Oh my gosh. How? But good thinking, Kirk. He's gonna destroy your town. Yeah. You take my house and you make it fly. These old vessels, they were built in space. They were never supposed to take off from atmosphere. Yeah, it's starting. I don't think anything is going to stop this and use the base's advanced technology to attack an untold number of Federation planets. Use it like a Death Star. Oh, we can't just jumpstart it, sir. Can we? I think we're going to. You can, you know, fly this thing, right? <laughs> you kidding me, sir? Okay. Fantastic. Okay, good. Okay. We have faith in you. Easy, Mr. Sulu. Let's not break her in half. <laughs> like our other ship. This is part of the plan. This is part of the plan. Oh my gosh, I hope you know what you're doing. Now, Mr. Chekhov! No. Oh my gosh, we're in the air though. Not stressful whatsoever! Okay! <laughs> we did it! We made it off the planet. Couldn't have done it without you. Oh, they have no idea. IFF alert on incoming vessel. The bees are coming. Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. Look how far they've come. Ah, serious family. Crawl's already started his attack. Crawl's swarm formations are too complex not to rely on some form of unified cyberpathic coordination. If we disorient the swarm, we can kick its ass. Yeah. Precisely. We could do that. Scotty, can you be me on one of those swarm ships? Maybe. Captain. My familiarity makes me more qualified for this away mission. Perhaps you would feel more confident if I were accompanied by someone with familiarity of both the ship and my injury. Hey. He's gonna, love this. He's gonna hate this. You want me to do what? Energize. You're gonna do great. Uh, they weren't jamming us, they were talking to each other. If we could plant some sort of disruptive communication signal inside the swarm, it might adversely affect their capacity to coordinate. Radio, we can we can broadcast something from the ship to drown out their links, something loud and distracting. Wait, we have that I'll from earlier. That thing. Oh my god, is this really our solution? Captain, we're ready to broadcast. Put us right in the middle of that thing, sir. Okay, this isn't dangerous at all. My old friend. <sighs> Wait, what? Ready to broadcast at 57.7 megahertz. Major choice, right. I have the beat and shouting. Alright, let's do this. Hope this works. <laughs> wow. This is so intense. Is that classical music? Yes, God. Oh it my gosh. The... Since they live in the future. Oh, this would be considered classical music. Oh, that's crazy. That's so wild. Would actual classical music be like, I don't know, prehistoric for them? There are still three ships heading into your town. It's gotta be crawl. Keep on them, Spock! Oh, oh, oh man. This can't be great for Yorktown. My house is breaking! <laughs> the of the your house poor house! Is there! Yorktown headquarters! Mr. Chekhov, can you do a bio scan of Central Plaza? <laughs> Figure out how to land. <laughs> Captain! 
Right. Some kind of energy transference uh. that physically changes him. So does he need pretty much constant energy transfer? Could have just waited until all of this was over. I I feel like he's in here. It's him. But the captain of the Franklin. Sir, he'll be long dead. No, he's not. I don't know how, but Edison is wrong. What? Is that him? How does he look normal again, though? And why did he look like the way he did the entire movie? They made him a captain and gave him the Franklin. Scotty, bring up his logs. Aye, sir. All distress calls unanswered. Only three remain. I won't allow it! They have some sort of technology that prolongs. You probably so I guess he got a hold of that again. technology. But if you do, be ready. Huh. You have to circulate air here, right? I saw. There's an atmospheric regulator at the core. There's a maintenance tower at the station's gravitational nexus. That's the only way. He's going there. How does he look normal again, though? That, that's what I don't understand. Ah! Oh, there he is. <laughs> what happened to you out there? A lot. We lost ourselves, but gained a purpose. We spend the rest of our lives fighting the same battles. Oh. oh! Oh! You lost! No way you can make it back there. He's gonna try. You gave us peace! This is not what I was born into. He's gonna follow this current. Oh, that's so scary. Just right. jump off. Captain, we have to stop the processor now or everything breathing in your town is dead. You will die. Better to die saving lives than to live with taking them. Oh. The vent. Work fast, Captain. Time's running out. No. He's not gonna make it. He's gonna use that to stab Kurt. Whoa. Oh, what was that? No, 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 no. Is this Spock? Please. Ah, okay, hold on, hold on. Did that definitely get rid of Kroll? 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 For decades, the Federation taught that he was a hero. I guess time will judge Not us quite. all. You saved this entire base, Kirk. I want more backstory on Edison, though. On Kroll. Needless to say, the position of Vice Admiral, it's yours. Vice Admirals don't fly, do they? Where's the fun in that? Hmm, yeah, that's not what you want. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it's so cool that they're including this. Their uniforms are awesome. I know you told me to keep it under wraps, but uh... Happy birthday! Oh, it's your birthday! To the Enterprise. To the Enterprise. Are we gonna build a new one? To absent friends. Are we back together? Are we... Are we gonna figure this out? I thought I got to finish your mission report. But I thought it would be more pleasing to engage with you socially. Aww. It would be pleasing. <laughs> Is he gonna tell her? No, I guess we're just gonna keep that to ourselves. That is acceptance into Starfleet Academy, if you want it. Will I have to wear that uniform? Probably. <laughs> hey, kids are. Kevin? Aww. Still wearing pants? Is he? I heard about Ambassador Spock. Is that what you want to mention that time in the turbo lift? More or less. I trust your meeting with Commodore Paris went well. More or less. We could have more of an open conversation about these things. Are we rebuilding the Enterprise? A little time lapse. Oh, it is the Enterprise. Space, the final frontier. These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Oh, it's all of their voices. Where no one has gone before. Oh, it made me really happy to hear all of their voices at the end. Just all of them being a part of it. I, I trying to think. I don't necessarily think this was my favorite of the three reboot movies that I've seen, but there were still a lot of things that 
I really liked about it. Like, I think it was so special the way that they honored Ambassador Spock and a lot of sweet moments there. He He's opening Ambassador Spock's box and you see the photo of the original crew. Like, there are so many like special moments like that that are just really cool. I really liked Jayla. Jayla was a cool addition to this movie and her story is tragic. I mean, who knows how long she was stuck on that planet by herself, but she's such a fun character. I love she, all of the names that she had for people, um, for Scotty, what was it? Montgomery Scotty. And then for Kirk, was it either James T or Jimmy T? Whatever she called them. I just love her names for all of them and her gadgets and just all of her tech is so just super cool. But Crawl, he is an interesting little villain. And I kind of wish it, it went into a little bit more of like his backstory because they had to kind of just briefly show it in his logs, I guess. But I mean, I guess essentially he was taking people's energy and kind of life source to stay alive, which is kind of creepy. And maybe he looked the way he did because it depends on who you're taking the energy and life from. I don't know. Like they didn't really like, dive into a lot of that, but super interesting, creepy character. And I feel like if I watched it again, I could see more of his I guess hatred for the Federation kind of make more sense because there was one moment that I was like, what did he just say? But it kind of makes more sense now. There, it was, oh, it was when the Franklin, something about the Franklin moving in right around Yorktown and he like called it his old friend or something. But now it makes sense because he was the captain. Yeah, his, his whole storyline, kind of crazy. He looks insane. But a lot of the effects are just so cool. The makeup and special effects are so cool in this in these movies. Again, I mentioned at the beginning, I don't know if there will be more reboot movies because I believe at one point there was supposed to be a fourth one and I don't know anything else besides that, but it's been a few years since this movie came out. So I'm curious where, where that's going to go, if anything is going to happen. I don't know, we'll see. Well, that was Star Trek beyond. I really just have, I've loved from these movies, the cast so much. I think that's what I love the most about these movies, just seeing all of their interactions and them portray these characters. Um, it has a really great cast and some really fun characters. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and we will see you next time.